Hi, I'm Dorothy Njamante, um, unapologetic Nigerian, unapologetic woman, um, racer, stunt driver, actress. I talk for a living. And I'm a proud member of the Bring Back Our Girls group. Um, in less than 48 hours, it will be two years since the Chibok girls were kidnapped. And every time I make reference to the Chibok girls, I'd like you to remember that they're a symbolic representation of the thousands of females that were taken into forced ca uh, they were taken into captivity forcefully, of course, and um, rapes serially gotten to procreate against their own wishes and wills and uh, still being kept in custody for different reasons, whatever it is, it's wrong. Um, what pains us the most is the fact that a lot of us Africans are not as sensitive as we should be to this, this, this great grave issue. Um, if it's something that happens elsewhere in the world, you don't waste, your t you don't waste time, more. you just change your DPs and the rest. Nobody's saying you shouldn't do so. But also learn to be sensitive to what happens in Africa and around Africa because if it can successfully happen somewhere in one part of Africa, it can always be replicated in other parts of Africa. So the time has come for us to sit up and ask questions, hold governments accountable. The Nigerian government is designed to be held accountable. Don't be scared to lend a voice in demanding account accountability, you know, on what the government is doing to bring back our girls. Um, the former government, we are not impressed in any way about the handling of that. And the present government, yes, we see from some political will, some political willpower there, but, but it's not enough for the parents of, or the family members of the Chiba girls. I mean, what is being done to see to their traumatized nature? What's being done to see to their needs, their traumatic needs, you know, you know the, to address the trauma that they're going through? What's being done to communicate what is happening weekly or, you know, at least within short intervals to them? Nothing. The, the, the situation of the internally displaced persons is appalling. Um, we still have majority of the, more, over 90% of uh, internally displaced persons in Nigeria residing in community hosted camps. And these communities sometimes are communities without electricity. Uh, electricity. The communities without water. The communities with problems. You know, we have a major need for healthcare facilities. It's, an, it's, a, it's a natural disaster. So I use this medium to call on you to in any way possible support um, people who have been affected by the, the crisis in Nigeria. It's, it's astounding. Millions of people are affected. Basic toiletries are not getting to people who should have them. More and more is needed to support these people. Um, psychosocial support is needed for affected people. Around the, 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 still, uh, uh, the, the, the communities that are still uh, prone to attacks and then those who have run far away, they still need a whole lot to get them reintegrated back into society. It can only happen with the help of you and I. And considering that it's less than, 20, uh, less than 48 hours, for it to be two years since people's families began looking for their daughters, how about you put up a message venting and demanding that the Chibok girls be brought back? Don't forget, every time I mention the Chibok girls, it's just a little representation. It's just a symbolic representation of so many other people. And when the world is truly upset about something together, we can make that difference. I remain Dorothy Germante, and I keep demanding, bring back our girls, because the fight for the Chibok girls is the fight for the soul of the world.